ourselves now, deep in the realm of Amberhelm, approaching the Titan Tree Forest, following three heroes sent from a nearby town to enter the forest and find within what are called the Flumph, a mushroom people, and they are supposed to hold more information for our heroes. Walking along a dirt path and approaching two to three hundred feet tall tree forest uh, off in the distance are three heroes. Merrick, the paladin. Aqua wizard, the aqua wizard. <laughs> and Fluid, the druid. Approaching towards what looks like a small hut in front of the wood line. Uh, smoke coming out of the chimney. It's a solid sunny blue day. Plenty of daylight left. Looks like... Dinner time, buds. Somebody's cooking something up, right? Let's go check it out. The small hut with a thatched roof, uh, smoke billowing out and the scent of familiar childhood foods, such things like uh, horn blossom and gold spur spices from back where they're from, wherever that is. Mmm, horn blossom, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I remember when my mom used to make uh, horn blossom for everybody. Horn blossom soup? Yup. I hated when she put nuts in it, though. You did? It just ruins the whole horn blossom. At least you had a mom. They're there. And as our heroes are getting closer to this hut, they find that the door flies open, and they're starting to get details of what's inside, and it looks like a classic home you'd find in the center of the woods. It's got a pot on a fireplace, and you know, some other things you can see, like a cat running around. The property is scattered with what look to be uh, fruit trees of some kind. You can't make them out in detail, though. I think we should investigate this house. That looks very natural in the woods. Is that right? Yeah, I imagine we could do that, man. You could also just say, let's go check out the house. <laughs> I mean, I don't know who you're trying to impress. <laughs> just, 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 just us saying. It just looks really natural. I, I'm That's not even I'm sure saying. if we technically have a leader right now. Is this is you it, nominating is it, you? Is it Wiley Mary over here? So, so, wait, you're telling me that a house in the middle of the woods seems completely natural. All right, Little Red Riding Hood. We should go to it immediately. I mean, the fruit's already on the outside. I'm kind of, kind of, uh, kind of fruit. Let's just grab this fruit. I go inside. Fuck you guys. I'm going to go talk to the cat. Yeah. All right, we're talking to the cat. The cat still is on the inside of the hut. So See? you would have to report. You're about two, the first one to go in. Like about 200 yards away. Yeah, because he's the one who wants to talk to the cat. Let's yeah. approach. So Fluid the Druid starts to lead our heroes towards the open door of the hut, seeking to investigate and counsel with a cat. And as they approach, behind the hut, a tree starts to come into focus, and you can see upon a ladder out back, up picking some of the fruit, is a man with his back turned to you. Yo, bro, is this fruit, like, edible? I, I don't recognize this stuff. What What's this fruit all about? Kind of, like, shakes on his ladder a little bit, like you scared him. Oh, visitors! I don't know about you guys, but this stuff is delicious. Dude, you're already eating it? I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> you see the old man start to get down off his ladder. Guys, you gotta try this. Yeah, I guess uh, I'll just grab a couple off of the tree or whatever yeah. and start eating them too. Hey, you're cool with this old man, right? Here, have some of mine. I got some for you. Awesome, man. Here you go. This stuff's great. Mm. And uh, he, he as he's watching you eat his fruit, which, for all you know, could be his life's work. No, no, this is delicious <laughs> over here. Oh, I see you like to eat fruit that's not yours. Oh, hi, hi, <clears throat> sir. <clears throat> uh, what's this? What are these you're growing? These are uh, silver sheep apples. They're super rare amongst the, the, the land that we're in. Yeah, man, they taste super rare. These rare, things are huh? awesome. Hmm. Mm. How many of these you, uh, are we allowed to have? Well, they're about 500 gold a piece, and you've already eaten, what, I see, like, four? I start to, like, spit up a little bit of mine back into my hands and, like, try and shape <laughs> it back into the apple. I'm like, oh, actually, yeah, no, these don't taste that great. I think mine's rotten. Aqua Wizard, did you eat some of this guy's fruit? Uh, no, I just that one. You ate like, one? Part, part of I it. I didn't touch any, so... And I'll tell you guys what. I've actually run into a supply issue, you see, because they don't produce seeds on their own. You have to go and get the seeds from a place deep in the Titan 
Hollywood forest, which my house stands on the edge of. If you guys want to just go take care of this problem for me and bring me back some of the seed to pay off for the apples that you guys ate, we will accept your endeavor under the conditions that your cat can come with us. All right, I'm taking him. He's now a part of our band. Oh, I'm not, hey, if he's asking, that's fine, but wait, I am yeah. telling. So wait, wait, I think we're not getting enough out of How this. do you know there's How much are you going to pay us for getting the cat out? I'll do it for free. Shut up. <laughs> I'll be doubling what you owe, basically. Did I say I ate one? I, ate, I think I'm going to remember eating like something like 10 or 20. I watched you eat four, so we'll just leave it at that. Which um, direction do we head? Towards the shore, but you'll run into the Titanwood Forest here eventually. Are you familiar with the, the Amberhelm realm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd like to, uh... Do you know about the Titanwood Forest? I'm new. Could you please give me a rundown on... I want to tell you all about the, the Titanwood background? Forest. Okay. The Titanwood Forest is home of the Titanwoods. The mightiest ironwood trees around. That's correct. Hardest trees around. It's really dense. Really dark. Yep. I see a puddle, like, a couple feet off to the side. I'd like to uh, ask the puddle about Titanwood Forest. The Aqua Wizard puts one hand on his forehead and touches the puddle with his other hand and seeks with his mind. What do you say to it? I'm like, uh, so yo, what up, puddle man? Uh, long time no see. Uh, what, what's up with this Titanwood Forest, dog? And then, and then the puddle's all like, the puddle's like, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what the puddle's like. <laughs> hey yo, dog, what up, man? What you doing? Where you been? What's going on? Same old puddle, man. Same old puddle. What are you asking about, dog? What do you gotta know? I mean, do you know, like, an easy way through the Titanwood Forest? Oh, yeah, dude. Like, instead of going northwest, go northeast for a second, and you'll find a path, and it's gonna hook around to where you're trying to go. Fuck yeah, that's why Puddle's my boy. Puddle's always got the info. Dang. Did How does that? the puddle know when the puddle just sits here? You guys can't talk to puddle. Oh, no, I'm saying. assuming that he's relaying the information okay, to us. Mm -hmm. One, I don't trust you, and I trust this puddle even less. <laughs> I don't trust Nobody you. questions puddle. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind if you question me, but uh, Puddle's a good guy. I mean, look at him. Aw, oh, shit, man. Come on, just give me a chance. If you go up into the northeast, it'll take you right to, uh, they're called the Flump, and they're like mushroom slugs. Yeah, see, this all works out, guys. I need their juices. Fluid. Whatever. Your name is Fluid. You don't trust the Puddle. No. It's kind of like an irony thing. Color me irony. My name is Jeff Applegreen, by the way. I'm gonna mark on your map for you where I am. Thanks, Mr. Apple. Are you are you okay talking to a puddle? It's probably just your fur. What? You never seen a guy talk to a puddle before? What are you talking about, man? Puddles can't talk, son. Did you grow up in a cave? I grew up in a forest. Well, None where I come from, we all talk puddles. We don't discriminate against the puddles. What place is this? Uh, Gamma. Gamma. People of the sun. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're actually great enemies with the puddle people, and that's why, you know, you gotta learn the language, see what they're up with. Up. The aqua wizard from the sun village makes... <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I'm with you guys now. And what's that reason? Uh, they kicked me out of the sun village. Right, right. <laughs> oh, jeez, I wonder why. Oh, yeah. Outcast controls water. So I've got a lot of apples to get picking. You guys solve this problem for me. Salutations, farmer. I've got a whole harvest bounty of gold waiting for you when you come back. We're heading on our trail. So our hero is now heading towards the Southeast Trail. Northeast. The Northeast Trail. Now they're heading there. Northeast, boys. Good thing we got that tip. The sun moves into evening position. Shadows grow long. Yes, hungry? Do you want to try some of those silver apples? Right, dude, I'm full of those silver apples yeah, right yeah, now, right. man. Spilling out all over the ground are 14 apples that were collected by Merrick the Paladin. Dude, good looking out, Merrick. We don't, we don't even really have to complete the mission now. We already got the payoff. We can sell half of these apples, eat the rest, and still come out winners. I think we should just eat them all. Yeah. Do all, oh, yeah, I think we should too. I think we'd never have to eat again. Who's good at math? What's 14 divided by 3? Uh, I think we each get seven. Seven's <laughs> right. I'll eat some eat seven. Seven. So seven. I'll eat 14. seven, and Joel eats seven, and fluid, right. fluid the Druid will eat some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and engaging in a nighttime evening feast, they consume all of the apples oh, no, no, no. and start making their way down the path once more. You start to see the Titan trees tower above you, going two 
200, 300 feet into the air. Just like I told you. Before the canopy even starts, you can see lots of critters of all sorts scattering from branch to branch, and in the brush you start to see movement, small movement. Do some perception checks and see if we see anything out of the orb. Peering into the underbrush of the forest, Merrick the paladin with spots is something that pokes its head out of the brush, and it looks to be some sort of fungus slug creature. I, I'm gonna make a water clone. I wanna send a water clone to talk to him. We don't know what these people are capable of. Your water clones talk? Uh, you know, he, he can make gestures and stuff. Summoning with his hands, and he creates a little tiny person, and it seems to have a life of its own. All right, little buddy, I need you to run over there and ask that guy uh -huh. if he's got any food. Yeah! All right. Whoa! Takes off running, spooks this creature, and it flies back into the brush. Well, way to go. Yeah, that's actually usually what happens. Then why things. would you do that? I mean, it, eventually it's gonna work. <laughs> One day. I love your optimism, but not helping. <laughs> I'd like to just congratulate the little guy I just created on doing a job well done. Well, simultaneously crushing him, yeah. Okay, cool. But uh, I wanted to not know what happened. <laughs> I wanted his last moments to be happy before I take his power back. There's no use for him anymore. The Aqua Wizard grabs his clone, water clone, up into his palms and comfortingly looks into its eyes while he extinguishes its life. It's how he would have wanted to go out. Mm. Alright, moving on. Heading now down towards the, the brush in which they saw what they think might be the flump they're looking for, starting to like, poke their heads inside, they see almost like a light off into the distance. Almost like there's a secret underlife to this brush. Hey guys, I uh, I killed that little evil demon water creature. I'm your new hero. It's okay, you can trust me. I, I just yeah. hope for a response. Yeah, Flump people, we are your friend and ally. And scurrying back out of this brush, you see the creature that fled from you earlier. It, it approaches you. What do you what want? Do you want? Oh wow, that was easy. All right, hey man, uh, we're just trying to figure out if you could help us out with finding some food. I mean, I'll help you out with whatever you got going on, but I want some food first. Are you sure, Are you sure? that's what you want to ask me? Ask me? We're looking for the seeds that grow the silver sheep apple, and we're hoping that you would be able to point us in the direction of where we're able to find them. Mm, that's, that's very, very well, well said. said. Let, me Let me go get, get my, my, the king, king of my, of my tribe. tribe. You want to follow me, or, or should I bring him here? here. here. Yeah, he's a king. We won't make him come to us. Yeah. That's fair. And as our heroes start stuffing themselves down into the underbrush of the Titan Tree Forest, they're getting all snug inside there. It's almost like a tunnel that their army crawling through. It's starting to get darker, but they can f still see the form of the flump going ahead of them. Mm. Don't stop crawling. Yeah, I guess Yeah, there's no turning back now, man. We just gotta continue on, even though all these brambles keep smacking me in the face, and it's nasty down here, and I don't know why this would be the path to a king. Seems kinda sketchy. For you guys, this is home for me. And, uh, the path that they're crawling on starts to slant downward more into the earth, opening up into, uh, like a secret chamber almost, underneath the underbrush, and, and they see extravagant glowing mushrooms deep in this place that are illuminating it with their bioluminescence. That's pretty beautiful down here. Holy shit, light bulbs! Light bulbs! Room bulbs. I wonder what they run off of. I wonder if any of this is green. And looking around the area, they see what this little guy starts towards the back of the room. Oh, look at that! And you see a, a throne that's made out of fungi and other things like that. And upon it is a slug mushroom type person with the crown upon his head. Dude, killer throne. You make your people into a throne? That's badass. That's high class. Hello, our king. We come seeking your aid this day. Mm -hmm. Little one, why have you brought these people to my kingdom? And you see, you see the uh, little flump that brought you here. He runs up to the throne. They, they, they are looking, looking for, for the, the seeds. seeds. Maybe, Maybe they can, they can solve, solve your problem. problem. And the king looks upon you. Why do you seek the seed? We're actually seeking multiple seeds, <laughs> not just one. And we were actually hired to come into the forest to find them. Mm. There's only one man I know in all of Acor's land, Acor's land that, that grows these seeds. Farmer Greenhorn, yeah. No, we were sent by Jeff Applegreen. Good old Applegreen! 
Yeah, it definitely wasn't Gamma Sun Horse. That guy's a cock. Gamma Sun Piece. Yeah, yes. Sun Piece of shit. Be on his town just for manipulating water. I didn't say it. I've heard that they like the sun. That's about all they like. It's about the only thing they like. Well, if it was Jeff Applegreen that sent you, then maybe I shall give you the location which you seek. King, let me be your champion. <laughs> no, let me be your champion. Many champions today. What about you, young druid? I just want to get this done and over with and leave these two people behind. So it shall be. Are you mighty warriors capable of battle? Yes, and I'll defeat him for you. Uh, no need for that. And I'll uh, defeat me for you. I appreciate it, but let's... I got a better thing. Continue your quest, recover the seeds, and slay the mighty dragon. Good enough for me, Sire. We have departed once. And above, our heroes see a skylight draining light down into the underbrush. Climb up the vines and exit above. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not really a fan of heights. I don't see that happening. Can I just manipulate the vine to carry me up? Right, fuck you guys, I'm out. Alright, so I'm gonna- <laughs> it, it, carry you. No, 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 if he can pull that shit, I'm just gonna take off my hat and just start letting water pour out. And drown her? <laughs> Eventually I'll reach the top. I'll float. I float. I know how to swim. I know how to climb. I know how to swim, though. Alright, commit genocide because you're lazy, that's fine. I'm just gonna carry you. So, Before you even attempt to this, you, you weak wizard. So as Merrick's carrying me up, I just like to be holding my hand out. <laughs> so Fluid the Druid starts manipulating the vines, bringing them down to secure him within their grasp and raise him up to the, the surface level of the forest. <laughs> Whatever, we climb. It doesn't take that much longer. <laughs> and Merrick, the paladin, picks up the aqua wizard and fireman carries him as he starts climbing. Hey, it would've worked, man. It would've taken a while. We just gotta fill up the entire kingdom with water. Keep it on. It, it would've worked top. eventually. And now, back into the Titan Tree Forest. They're dwarfed now by the size of the trees, but they're on a path that cuts straight to where they need to go. This king sure is wise. That's why we follow him. Glad my voice is back to normal too because that voice was infectious. He had. I think it might have been the app. Path around my system. And as they're winding across the path through the tree, they see a giant chasm, but do also see a bridge leading across with a figure standing in front of it. Yo, I just like to say once again, I do not do heights. Just give me a minute with my hat, and well, by a minute, maybe like a couple weeks, I'll fill this whole gap up with water and swim across. Camp out, make an adventure of it, fill this thing up with water. I'll stop you right there. I think there's a quicker solution. Can we identify this figure? He just seems very large to you from where you are now. You can be there within like a minute's time. I'll follow. Okay, I'll lead. The fluid the druid leading his crew up towards the bridge. They start to get closer and they can make out the figure of a giant troll standing and waiting guard. You! You there by the bridge! What? What do you want? There's a giant chasm here. Hi. How do you get across? The bridge I st I'm standing in front of. Okay. Can we use it? <laughs> That's not strong, no. I say we start using it. Run past him. All of our heroes take off running towards the troll, and he takes two giant halibirds that he's wielding in separate hands and stops you just like, like guards at a door. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sorry about that, man. I thought you built this bridge so people could, like, use it and stuff. You are way faster than you look. <laughs> if I wish them to use it, they may cross. My name is Barlin, and I am one of the bridge trolls. What is your business on the other side of the bridge? We are in orders from the king. Which king? You know, the king. Uh, the one that matters? The high king of the flumps. Ah, King Flumfernuffle. Why did he send you? <laughs> he has tasked us with slaying the dragon that protects the seeds. Have you had any encounters with this dragon? I have heard of such dragon. He's taken root here and he's disrupted all of the trade. I am part of a group of six, you see. When I was just a young troll, we all encountered him before we were on our lives missions, which is to build bridges and not let people cross them. It's nice to meet you. I wish we could say the same. It actually sucks 
to meet you. You're worse than the Riddle Troll. You ever met the Riddle Troll? <laughs> yeah, that's Ignis. That's one of my six brothers. Yeah, you guys need to find a hobby. I mean, this is what we do with our that's time. That's unfortunate. I'd like to think this whole time I've been spilling water into the gap, just hoping it'll actually <laughs> fill up. Like, I'm nonchalantly doing it. Like, oh yeah, it's great. Go on. Go on, buddy. Phil. And I've never seen him since. He yeah. brought him down to a deep, dark place in the snowy land of Agadum. I'm sure he's fine, man. I'm sure he's just stopping somebody from getting over a bridge that they really need to get over. Who did you say again? Which name? I'll put it in later, because I can't remember. Hey, I just like to let you know, you're doing us a real solid by letting us cross this bridge. If you ever run into Gamma Sun God, go ahead and let him know Aqua Wizard's your boy. He'll, uh, he'll hook you up. You know, one of my brothers is actually in Gamma Sun Pieces territory. That motherfucker. I mean, yeah, good for him. Do you happen to know where the dragon resides and could point us in the direction so that we may carry out our task? Yes. If you just take this bridge about 1.2 wheels down, you're gonna find the, the... It's like a giant patch. Did he just use wheels as a form of measurement? God, I hate bridges. <laughs> Bri we're not They're in wacky measurement. <laughs> Obviously, if we're measuring in wheels... We're we're in Britain or something. Wheels is a ancient measurement of like field length and acreage. Measure an American. Uh, it's about 0.8 miles. Well, Mr. Troll, we'll be heading on now. All right. And he raises his halibuts. Go on across the bridge. Shit, that was easy. Fuck he you. likes us. So see you later. Take care. And as we're crossing the bridge, I would like to yell back and see if Barlin would like to assist us in slaying this dragon. Uh, uh, no! I've got a bridge to protect, so life calling and all. What about vengeance for your brother? Uh, I forgot about that. Um, you know what? Sure. He starts rambling down the bridge after you guys. Great idea, man. This idiot's gonna take down the whole bridge. I've never actually crossed my own bridge before, you know that? Isn't that funny? You don't say. <laughs> they crossed quickly. And now arriving upon the other side, our heroes are over the bridge. It's all right, now we just got a couple more miles, and then we will, we shall find the Cabbage Patch. Cabbage Patch? We're looking cabbage for the patch. dragon. That's where we're going. It's called the Cabbage Patch. All right, you're the expert. I uh, am. Yeah. I immediately regret this decision. I apologize. No, I like it. Of course you do. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, this great dragon, this great green emerald dragon, and his name is Draconis, and he's a total dick. So when we get there, just try to be cool, and maybe we can catch him off guard. Draconis, my grandfather's great enemy. Is that so? He told me of such. He has been alive for many more generations than he should have been, and no one seems to know why. Maybe if we slay him, we'll be able to figure that out. Oh yeah, that makes sense. We'll just kill him. And ask questions later. Just like my grandfather. Are we the good guys? Yes. Never. Just ask that. Do we see ourselves as the good guys? We're yes. never the good guys. Alright, I'd like to, once again, if there's any water around, ask if it's like a drop of sweat on somebody or something like that. Are, are yes. we good guys? Staring into the water on the side of the path, the aqua wizard asks deep questions about life. Water says we're all good, man. Nice. Water says we're totally fine. I totally don't believe you. Definitely not even. That's what I thought. Coming into view now over the distance of whatever, they can see the cabbage patch. Guys, look, the cabbage patch. That's where we're headed. Can we see it's anything in the cabbage patch at all? I once again remove my hat and start using my endless stream keep, of water. Keep it on. Stop taking no, it I, off. I get a water. They look dry. The, the cabbage patch. Might as well turn it on now, right? It's endless. It's not going <laughs> to run out by the time we get there, guys. Oh, there'll still be water when we get there. You can, like, start an irrigation stream. Yeah. Start here. This is how we'll get our way back. As long as Gamma Sun Dick doesn't evaporate at all. You know, I mean, it's not like we're following a path or anything. Barlin looks at you. All right, boys. It's time to be quiet. We're starting to get close now, and I can see Draconis is tailed. He might be asleep. Does anyone have a plan? Hit him until he dies. Hmm? Okay. I'm not hearing better ideas. I mean, I have one. I just don't know if it's that I would wish to commute with him. I don't know. I've been told this guy's a total sucking piece of So he hasn't come across me yet. Do you think I'm not going to persuade a dragon. I'm going to command a dragon. And off in the distance, the tail of the great Draconis raises to the sky and clashes down on the ground. Hey, it sounds like he likes your idea. Go talk to him, man. I will, because fuck you. And moving off towards the dragon by himself, Fluid the Druid gets closer and closer. 
and you can start to make out the terrible form of this ancient dragon. Scales missing from battle and scars noticeable upon its hide. Uh, it seems terrifying. Hey, Nance, do you, like, uh, walk into the doorframe? Fall down the stairs? How close am I to him? 20 feet now. So we would have to scream it. Can I make out the entire body? Pretty much, yeah. He's huge. Alright, I would like to make my way directly to its face. Working around in an arc, coming face to face with it, is our hero, Fluid the Druid. <laughs> Aqua, it's gonna get my kiss. Yes! Yes, I am, because fuck you. I'm gonna kiss Draconis with tongue. Doesn't count if you don't use tongue. <laughs> Alright, fine, fuck you. There'll be tongue. And it's gonna be. It does count if it doesn't include gonna, dick. It's gonna be excessively erotic. You're too far away. Just because I know you're yeah, watching. You get closer. And I would like to reach deep into his mind and plant the idea <laughs> that tongue? I want him to eat himself. Convincing something to eat itself. Can't cannibalception. Mastery over all animals. The eyes of this great beast open. Who invades my mind? And its eyes rest right upon you. I shall not destroy myself, for I've been for many generations. Alright, for no reason, I would like to grow my beard excessively down to the ground. What's and, I want, and, and I want to no, no, and I want to look at him the eyes. And I want to tell him I control time. As you can see, I can make it pass at will. I can end your life. Fluid the Druid putting on a display of his growing beard. The dragon is totally unswayed. Ah, uh, I see your trick, but I know time is not passing, for I would feel it. Then I would like to say, feel this and call upon the Titanwood trees to enclose myself in the armor that they can provide. And reaching his hands out, Fluid the Druid starts seeking the bark of many of these trees and they land on them, interlocking places, creating some sort of armor. And Draconis reels his head back. Ah, so you must be Fluid the Druid. Yes, I am. And if it is a challenge you seek, then a challenge it is you you will have. Fuck. It's, it's cool, man. You nailed it. Taste it, man. Dragons aren't that good at speech either. I've heard of many of your tales in the land of Shasto. What is it that you are here for? We're here to drive you from these groves in order to obtain the seeds that you are... Hoarding? Like a dick? Hoarding. For better, better choice of words? Seeds. Ah, of course. Humans and other human-like creatures are always after my seeds. I'm a dragon. I have no need for the seed myself, but I was just trying to keep them out of the hands of Apple Green, for he sends them to my enemies. Then I want to nip this in the bud. Oh, dude, fuck Apple Green. We already ate half of his supply without him even knowing, man. You hook us up with seeds, we'll, uh, we'll eat the rest of his apples. All right, Draconis. Please. Who are your enemies? Oh, there's lots. How about this? I will offer you a deal. Let us leave this grove together, and we will take care of your enemies, and we will stop Apple Green from supplying them. Talk cheap, fuck this. Have of endless water. I want to ride the dragon! Have of endless water. I use it again. Take off my hand, and I point it straight at the dragon, gushing so, out so, of endless so, water. So it just kind of like... Yeah, it's not like out. a straight, it's kind of like a little trickle, like a hose with low water pressure. Yeah. So what see you, Draconis? Not stopping though. Shall guys, we band together? Me. I think not, because I am the son of the dragon of the twelve guardians. Dude, we just want the seeds, man. Like, get over yourself. We already told you we want the seeds. Like, if you weren't near the seeds, you wouldn't even be. Who the fuck are you again? You're not, you're not the seeds, though. Bring all this. Yeah, I'm already watering, and he just doesn't well, care. Let us accomplish this, and then you can return to wherever you want and seek your peace. A lot of conflicting emotions right now. His wings spread massively into the air. I feel as though you try to trick me, and I do not appreciate tricks. Because I'm a dragon and I have no fucking sense of humor. Alright, I want to drop my bark armor to give him a sense of nothing, nothing shady going on. Fluid the Druid drops his armor, showing him his harmlessness. And Draconis swings his tail at the defenseless Druid and sending him back, doing four damage. Is it possible to turn into an ironwood tree? 
before the tail strike hits me. Not successfully being sent off into the ironwood trees, lands on the ground, and then he changes into an ironwood tree. <laughs> I would like to mentally reverberate into Draconis's mind a fuck you! Don't worry, Fluid. I'm stepping up to the plate and I'm gonna handle this. My fiery ice hammer. I'm gonna attack and strike this big dog dragon. Merrick, the paladin, using his patented technique of fire and ice on his hammer, swings it relentlessly at the, at the dragon and strikes his hide many times, knocking scales oh, off. Take that and that and one of these two. And he's definitely harmed. It doesn't matter how much damage you inflict on me, you'll never kill me. For you see, uh, no, that's a secret, never mind. And then he goes and tries to swing his tail down at the Aqua Wizard. A critical strike launches the Aqua Wizard and his hat full of- Oh no! Why would you do that? Aqua! Doing four damage to the Aqua Wizard and spilling his hat of infinite water but, to the ground. But is my hat okay? Your hat's okay. Alright, well, as long as my hat's okay. Is it still spilling water out? Oh yeah. Then it's doing what it needs to be doing. I will make you all perish, and then I will claim these seeds for my own. Why? Oh, okay. He's a dick. He doesn't even need them. We've been told a hundred times he's a dick. What kind yeah, of reason? You aren't even growing them into apples. He's You're just dick. keeping them as seeds, he's dude. Attack him. You know these things turn into apples, right? You know that? I do know that. I will live forever, and I will be the only guardian left. I'm gonna use Holy Blast on this. And Merrick, the pal in holding out his hand and holding his his symbol of faith, gaining power from it, launches a holy blast, impacting it and doing ten damage. And he reels and screams. That's right. It's finally working, guys. All the water's finally getting to him. You're helping so much, Aqua. You see the hat next to him, <clears throat> spilling out the water? Contribution is welcome. I'd like to not be a tree anymore. Shape shifting out of a tree, reattains his bark armor, and then I would once again like to engage. Draconis' mind. Get him to attack the ground as hard as he can. Like smash his face against the ground? Yeah, just get him to attack the ground. Maybe <laughs> maybe he'll use his rage. Um, be dumb enough to do it. How can you manipulate his mind? Yeah, how's that working again? If he's kamikaze, if I can convince him to do something that would hard in turn stuff. hurt himself, which I want him to tell us why. It doesn't matter how much damage. And then, because that being a secret, if we knew that, would harm him. That's deep. That's deep, bro. Fluid the Druid starts seeking the truth deep within Draconis's mind, and Draconis tries to fight it off mentally, and doesn't succeed in piercing deep into his mind with his thoughts. Uh, Fluid starts to ascertain the secret history of this ancient dragon he sees in his past, where he acquired a certain item that he keeps hidden within one of his nails, a stone of great importance. I want to tell my teammates about that stone, although I don't know what nail it is, and I would like to talk Draconis. Draconis, I know your secret in the stone that you have hidden in one of your nails. Where did you learn about the Eternal Stone? From your own mind. Now seize your combat in your rage. I want to take a swing with my fire and ice hammer at his front left along. It's got to be one of those feet. Swinging. For chances. Swinging with his hammer of fire and ice lands directly upon the front left paw, shattering it and lighting it aflame at the same time. Take that, you savage! He opens his mouth and he unleashes a acidy blast. Want to roll out of the way? And it misses our heroes since he's distracted from the pain he's in. You bastards may have destroyed one of my claws, but I can never die. Draconis, end this now, or we will end you. I make a mad dash for my hat. I just want to get that hat back. You do so. Grab oh, I grab the hat? All right. I continue so spraying water at him. Now aiming, though, at his claws with my hat. Like, kind of just dumping him real close down, like right up against it. Putting out the fire that I just lit him up. Can, I mean, can yeah. he manipulate the water into ice to lock him down and case him? I'm pretty Almost. sure I can't do that. No? Uh, I can talk to the water. <laughs> It's about the extent of I can ask the water if it would like to do that. <laughs> hey, yo, water, would you like to freeze this guy in place? Yo, no, yeah, man, I totally do that. I know how to freeze and shit. I've done, I used to be an icicle back in the day. Oh, holy shit, man. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be like, that's out of my league. All right, yeah, dude, could you do that for us? That'd be great. We need this guy frozen, like, hardcore. Which paw, dude? Dude, I, all I, of it. Just all freeze all of it. Island. We don't, we're not sure which paw it is. All right, tell you what, get me all over him. Dump, dump it on one paw. You can dump it on one paw. <laughs> you know, just continue one. on the same. Well, I mean, he could dump it, and then he could 
right it because he does manipulate the water. Right paw. Go for the right paw. I mean, we tried the left. But running up to the right paw, the aqua wizard tilts his ever pouring water hat, spilling its contents upon it, and hoping for that the secret message within his mind isn't just schizophrenia. It's totally gonna freeze, guys. It's totally gonna work. I swear, the water told me so. It did it. Did it now? Yeah. It said it was yeah. no problem. Water turns into yeah. ice all the time. Yeah. It, Easy. It, it tells me to touch the door down three times too. Oh. And you see the water start to freeze around this paw and keep them sealed in place. Die, son of a bitch. You got the wrong claw again, though. I don't believe it, boys. He can't move. He's stuck. Then I want to charge up and hit the back left claw. Swing with a fire and icy hammer. Another strike. Using the tireless fire ice hammer and swinging yet again at the paw, Merrick swings successfully and breaks one of the nails off of the back left paw. Paw justice! And it does seem that there is some sparkling going on inside of it. Draconis, we found where you hide your secret, your last chance. Forgo your endeavor, or we will take your life. And we really just want the seeds still. Like, don't have to kill you. We can just take the seeds. Stop being a prick. Oh, shit. Yeah, you, that's, that's the eternal stone. Um, alright guys, listen. Let's just be real here for a second. And as he's talking, you can start to see the age from many generations of his life start to catch up with him in his face and his scales. It looks lackluster now. Yeah, so... Uh, just let me go, and you guys can have the seeds and do whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave. Is that cool? He says to spread his wings. Sounds legit to me, man. Yeah. That's what you do when you get your ass kicked. I mean, I'm not petty, man. I ain't trying to prove nothing. I barely even want the seeds. Blue, and, Blue has a hard time saying goodbye. They have a really close relationship. Yeah. Blue well, has deep emotional well, attachment well, right now. Well, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I trust him. My other thought is, fuck him, he still has the eternal stones. We'll find other dragons, man. With other eternal stones? With yeah. Cracked? It's in the claw. There's plenty of dragons in the sky. So what's stopping me from severing that claw? It's already, it's already off this. I oh. smashed it, right? You smashed the nail which it was contained in off of him, so it's in his nail, separated okay. from him now. Then yeah, your barter for your life is accepted. Yeah. Take off and hope you never see us again. 20 bucks says he never leaves. Like, he's aging at exponential rate, guys. That's fine. Turns into dust. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's yeah. gonna be like Apollo 17 up in here. That's fine. Not my problem. Should we gather up that gem? Might or... well. Spreading his massive wings and launching into the sky, you start to see the form of this giant ancient dragon get further and further until it's out of your vision. Good scratch. Did he say where the seats were? He was sitting on them. Oh, I can't so I'm sure if we yeah, investigate, we'll find. Oh yeah. But one of us needs to pick up this very important dibs. It's very good call dibs. It's the most intimate relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be jelly. Just because you guys are animals and I can't him. connect with you in the same way. He's gonna want a momentum. Yeah. For his memory and memento, Fluid the Druid picks up this giant dragon's nail. It's about the size of a jar of peanut butter or something. Contained in the tip of the nail is a shiny red gem. It must be the Eternal Stone. Well, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep the nail. Well, no, I'm gonna rip it out. I'm gonna rip it out. Putting his hand upon the gem and ripping it out. As he touches it, he starts to feel its energy flow through his body. Fluid, well, you okay over there? You're looking really good. Glowing almost. Which is really weird, but I gotta say, this feels great. Wow. Oh, can I have a turn holding the. No. <laughs> can I just. No. Okay, think about what it's like to hold the stone. No. Fair enough. It's mine. Does the stone tell you where the goddamn seeds we're looking for are? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, fine. Why don't you make out with your stupid little crystal yeah. then? I will! Have fun looking for the sea! I'm glad his relationship with the dragon isn't entirely over. <laughs> Never will be. It's like they got a kid now. They call it the Eternal Stone for a reason. And bickering amongst themselves, our heroes cast their eyes into the field which they were battling in, and they see, raising out of the ground in a very, uh, organized manner, all of these seed heads popping out of the ground. Check it out, guys. I know exactly what to do in this yeah. situation. Yeah, good. I grab my hat once again, yeah. and I just start 
start using flooding, endless waters to try field. and flood the field. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll just grab them right out of there. Yeah. The aqua wizard starts pouring it upon some of the seeds, and the three seeds you've touched with water so far start to immediately sprout into trees. Maybe when they get touched with water, they just grow right away. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. So we shouldn't do that because we need the seeds and not Titan trees. So put your damn hat back on. No, I need Titan trees, man. Put your hat back on. I'm putting it on you right now. Sorry, right, so I put the hat back on. It's, it's, it's pretty convincing. Plus, I already have enough. Let's go well, gather like, up these seeds. Ones. They seem pretty easy just to reach in the dirt and grab. Probably put in the bag that we have on us some kind of, you know. Oh, guys, I hate getting my hands dirty. I'm from a farm, but, you know. I could wash your hands with my hat you of could. endless water. You could. Not I the... dump my hat of endless water. Yes, church, you thank say. you. They start to walk away back towards where they know they need to go. All right, that was a great fight. I'm glad I was here to help you guys do all that fighting. I want to go back to my bridge now. Just so oh, you know, wow, that guy's quiet. I totally yeah. forgot he was no, with no, us. Just so you know, Mr. Troll, cowering in fear of a dragon during the battle is a completely acceptable strategy. Could have done it without him. Walking along, our heroes cross the bridge and say their goodbyes to Barlin. Goodbye! I'll see you guys anytime you're trying to cross this bridge! Farewell. I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally sick of walking already. Is it possible to call, like, maybe stags or, like, a bear or something large enough for us to mount and have him literally run until he dies? Mm -hmm. It's like a fair use of an animal's life. <laughs> hey, you'll get a meal at the end. Fluid the Druid reaches his mind out and to the Titanwood Forest and summits three llamas for our heroes. Ah, and these llamas <laughs> sound like... Sound like she... <laughs> What a guess. What a guess. You know, I like my llamas to sound like sheep, you know what I mean? You know, it's familiar. They <laughs> come from a good neighborhood. <laughs> In all mounting these llamas, the orders are given to take them back to Jeff Applegate's house. Pounding along. This llama's really tough to handle. This plate armor, a lot of muscle on this one. They see the familiar hut at which they saw earlier this day. Oh, we're back here again, guys. Finally, what an adventure. We have so many stories to tell. Can you believe it? Is he even around? Jeff, Mr. Apple Green Farmer up. You see the door of the hut open and this this familiar man walk out. Ah, so you've returned. Yes, I did sir. not expect that. Yeah, neither did we. <laughs> well, we tried our best not to complete the mission, to be completely honest with you, but uh, we came back with more than enough seeds. Did you guys kill Draconis? Yep. Does it make a difference? Totally dif dead. Does it make a difference if we did or not? I mean, came with the seeds and he is no longer in the grove. That's really the only concern. I just, he's scary. Super dead. Don't worry about it. He's gone. It's like knowing the boogeyman's still out there, you know, if he's alive. It's bad. Well, what if the boogeyman was like, had two broken legs and, you know, two broken arms? You wouldn't be so afraid then, you know? You'd be like, I can kick that guy's ass. I feel better now. Let me see the seeds you've gathered. Bottom of my pouch here that I gathered. Reaching his hand out, Jeff takes the seeds from Merrick the Paladin and he inspects them. These are the seeds I needed. Thank you, boys. Hey, did you know that if you touch water to those seeds, they sprout instantly? Ah, yes, that's exactly the reason why I farm these seeds. I don't know how to grow plants. It's literally the same thing. You put water on them. Good the trial and error. Worst farmer <laughs> ever. Ah, yes, but the richest. <laughs> I hate you. Speaking of your riches, take this as your reward, my heroes. So much coin. Thanks. Let's go to the nearest tavern and, you know, get some drinks. If you travel directly west out of this forest, you'll end up in the town of Acor, which is ruled over by King Oakbright. He's a he's a really good guy. That sounds excellent, serving kings. I hate you. I hope I never see you again. I'm leaving. Head of endless <laughs> water. <laughs> Head of endless water all over his furniture, all over the front door. I'm like nonchalantly doing it as I walk away. I'm drowning his crops and shit. Like I'm just so upset. I actually leave the Head of Endless Water going as we Leave. As they're traveling down the road with two fat money sacks and the eternal stone, the secret item that they now hold, a memory, starts to creep into the Aqua Wizard's mind. He starts to remember tales of the eternal stone. Remember something important that you might need to tell the group? Nope, nope, not at all. Just, just, look like a thought pop in your head. Just, just guess. Didn't, didn't mean to misread. Yeah, don't no no worry about it. Okay. And this is exactly why I hate you. I can find in the water. Like, I see another puddle, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> some serious shit's about to go down. Yo, dog, why'd you tell me about it? Not right now. I never talked to me, man. With a gossip. Aqua, we gotta go. Hey, Conversation with the puddle's over. Hey, speaking of which, you already get some food right now? <laughs> the camera starts to pan out 
and you see the scene of them walking through a path dwarfed by giant trees. I assume we're still like dragging the llamas that, you know, no, they're dead. To death. No, we left them for the farm. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, exactly. They're just drowning. I mean, they're drowning on the farther side. You could have eaten them. Yeah, just no. And uh, yeah, they're just still there. Do you want a squirrel or something? No, I'm not. Don't tell them to hop into a fire. We're heading to an inn. We were just painting the stairs. No, we're just heading to the inn. You're 